And I think that's an interesting point because um, you, you, you raise two really interesting questions in the book there towards the end that I wanted to kind of tackle a little bit with you. But um, this, there are some individuals out there who in their ivory tower look at the South and are like, well, that's the place where the race problem comes from and that's all racist down there. And you kind of raise this question and say, well, is Oklahoma sort of mimicking this kind of racial development in 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 the South, or is actually Oklahoma kind of uh, in part helping it along, leading the way, right? And I don't. I I mean, I pose the questions because I don't want to answer it in the book. Um, <laughs> what is the answer? I mean, I I guess it can be both, but also it's kind of a question of almost why do we feel the need to keep these very solid ideas of geography and what geography supposedly means. I mean, anyone who knows like American history and American current politics knows racism is obviously everywhere in this country um, and it's never been confined to just one place. So acknowledging that uh, non-white peoples can have racist ideas, can kind of um, take those on and make them part of their own culture in different ways. I think allows us to see a place like Indian Territory in Oklahoma as a place that has very similar, sometimes identical uh, views and laws to other places that we identify as racist. Right. And I, I guess sort of also the irony is that you have in Indian Territory a space where African Americans had a lot of benefits under native sovereignty and then that erodes away how how quickly on some level you can have the erosion of rights right right and as white american settlers move in i think kind of the the facets of these tribes that have always had discriminatory views mm -hmm. kind of see chances to move on that um, and to stoke fear among their fellow tribal citizens uh which in a way kind of leads to the issues that we have today in Indian country with uh, the descendants of these former slaves where they don't acknowledge them as tribal citizens. Um, they try to ignore their own treaties in order to um, kind of reject uh, these people, these descendants. Mm 